Hey, here are five stupid things I've noticed about the Illuminati. They control everything. The most important thing to remember about the Illuminati, the incredibly powerful secret architects of the New World Order, is that they control every important institution in the world. They are the shadowy puppeteers that control the government of the United States and every other country, as well as the banks, the educational system, and the media. And what do they do with this power? They start wars, they destabilize economies, and generally work to undermine and eventually destroy the very institutions which they are presently the masters of. Which doesn't really make sense if you think about it for two seconds. But then again, who am I to argue with the Illuminati? After all, I am just one man, and they're everywhere. The other important thing to remember about the Illuminati is that they are everywhere. And every single person you've ever heard of with some kind of special status, be they a government official, a business tycoon, a movie star, whatever, is probably a member. I know that Ray Stevens sang that Santa Claus was everywhere, but what Ray Stevens doesn't tell you, what you need to figure out for yourself is that Santa Claus is just a code for Illuminati. Why would Ray Stevens sing a song that appears to be about Santa Claus but is actually about the Illuminati? Well, my guess is Ray Stevens is one of them. And if there's one thing you need to remember about the Illuminati, other than the fact that they control everything and they're everywhere, it's that they like to leave clues. Okay, so I made that stuff up about Ray Stevens being in the Illuminati, although it's probably true. But one thing I didn't make up is that the Illuminati are not satisfied merely with manipulating and enslaving us. They have to let us know what they're doing. They cannot help themselves. They must leave us clues to their plans and their existence encoded all throughout our culture and our media. They're like the Riddler. In fact, the Riddler is probably one of those encoded Illuminati clues. It wouldn't surprise me at all if Bill Finger and Dick Sprang were members. I mean, most of those Golden Age comics guys were Jews. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, Illuminati clues. Just take for one example the US $1 bill. There are 13 layers of bricks on that pyramid. The Latin motto E Pluribus Unum has 13 letters. There are 13 stars. In either foot, the eagle, or should I say the phoenix, is clutching 13 arrows and a branch with 13 leaves and 13 berries. Is it just a coincidence that the Illuminati is ruled at the highest level by members of 13 bloodlines? There were also 13 colonies at the time that America was founded as an independent nation. That is how powerful they are. They wanted 13 colonies for 13 bloodlines. Why else do you think they split the Carolinas into two colonies. By the way, that separation became official in the year 1712. You add the digits of the year 1712 together, one, seven, one, and two, you get 11. Add two more, one for each Carolina, you get what? 13. Have you ever heard another explanation for that? Because I haven't. They engineer popular culture for their own nefarious purposes. You really think no talent hacks like Elvis Presley, the Rolling Stones, the Beatles, Jay-Z, Lady Gaga could have become such superstars on their own? Of course not. They and thousands of others were products of the Tavistock Institute of Human Relations, a London-based propaganda firm that has been brainwashing us and manipulating our culture since it was created in what year? 1913. The same year the Federal Reserve was founded, by the way. See? It all just... There was a real Illuminati, and it was a group of enlightened progressives. If I can take off the tinfoil hat and speak to you as myself for a minute here at the end, I want to point out that there was an actual secret society called the Illuminati that existed in Bavaria in the late 18th century. 
It was a group of free thinkers dedicated to the ideals of the Enlightenment, and they advocated for things like reason and democracy and equality. About the only thing they had in common with the Illuminati spoken of by today's paranoid conspiracy theorists was that they were a bit too preoccupied with mysticism and their own internal hierarchies. The modern concept of the Illuminati as a cabal of powerful Jews pulling the world's strings for their own benefit slash amusement was created in the 20th century by fascists and fundamentalist Christians wanting to oppose the institutional and cultural reforms of modern liberalism. How's that working, fellas? The hardest part is only picking five. Catch you next time.